Segway Polo is uh, soccer with sticks um, on a two-wheel device on which it's impossible to look cool. Segway is a two-wheeled, self-balancing uh, human transporter. It has uh, five gyros in the base, two batteries, two computers, multiple redundancy to prevent injuries due to failure of the machine, and it's a very safe machine. It's a very unusual sport and one of those unknown lesser sports, so it's good for, you know, nerds and geeks that like to do unusual things, things that are different than not everybody else is doing. It attracts a lot of us to get into it, and then you come out and you find, oh my gosh, almost anybody can play this. The game itself is very much like horse polo, obviously uh, you're riding segways instead of horses, uh, therefore it is a bit easier to control, they don't have a mind of their own. It's a bit more technical than horse polo per se, uh, you have more time spent on the ball, so I would say more hockey, hockey and horse polo mixed type of thing. The actual tournament uh, has been going about five or six years. Uh, we only, Barbados team, Flying Fish, only came into it a year and a half ago. We were started a pickup match uh, right before a horse polo game here in Barbados. And what happened was someone happened to be in the crowd and filming it, and they put it on YouTube. A week later, I got a call from some guys out in California saying, hey, we're playing Segway Polo. We see you're playing Segway Polo. You know, welcome to the Segway Polo community. So instantly we were... Uh, we were a bit uh, confused. We didn't believe that this really was, you know, it was all a bit surreal. Uh, needless to say, another week passed or two, and uh, the Germans contacted us, told us, hey, we have a huge Segway Polo presence in uh, Europe, and uh, we are actually going to be hosting the Woz Challenge Cup in 2009. And they invited us to come and play. And of course, we were very hesitant at first, knowing we had only been playing for three months. And uh, mind you, we were able to play about three nights a week. We practiced quite a bit, so that certainly helped. We went to Germany and uh, we, much to our surprise, we won the World Cup. <laughs> It's very much like any other sort of ball game in that you know you're having to play at space or whatever and reasonable hand-eye coordination of course which is the you know this is the a very important thing but it is in the end um, a great leveler because there's a certain level of the machines all do the same speed they all have the same capabilities um, you know it's so uh, therefore it's down to the player luck of the ball whatever it might be and the individual skill
briefly the rules. You, you play the ball from one end to the other and stick it between the goals and that's pretty much it. The most important thing really is to play the line. Uh, we have to be very careful about um, uh, making sure you don't bang into each other because that can be a, a situation you don't want to be in. They're very expensive to repair. So you have to play to a line, keep in a straight line and not cross into each other and bang into each other. But apart from that, you know, swinging your stick around, not a particularly good thing. But uh, no, essentially it's, it, it's a pretty straightforward game. As this sport grows and grows, it's almost like Apple in a way. I think, oh my God, it's got and it's got my name, and I'm a part of it, and I'm not really that good anymore. Maybe, and the sport might go on and be real super athletic, but I get my name attached to it forever. Yeah, it's really quite an honor. It's huge fun. It really is, and it's one of those things. If you try it, and we have had you know, quite a number of people who will say, you know, please can I have a go, uh, and they do love it. It's that element of um, skill, an element of a little bit of chance because the ground's not purely even, uh, and the competitive nature. But also because you say you don't have to be some sort of big, bulking, sort of handsome Argentinian guy to play uh, Segway polo. And as you're witnessed by the people we have here, there aren't very many handsome Argentinian people on these teams. You can learn to ride a segue in a matter of three minutes, two minutes, but uh, to, to play polo it takes a little longer because you've got to need a, a lot more skill handling both the stick and the ball and the segue at the same time. It's a very special sport. The, the downside of it is that the, the machines are so bloody expensive. I mean, it's $5,000 to own a segue. Um, and then, you know, the, the rest is kind of uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, it's cheaper than owning a string of polo ponies and feeding them, but um, at the same time, I think it would catch on more if it were more affordable.
Stop now. Deep back it towards the goal. And the fish are large and in charge. And over the edge it goes. And the flying fish leaders at the end of the day. Our boys really work together as a team. They really do. It's a good team effort, and the guys are good. They have good ball control. They know where the play is going to go. They they're, they watch and see, put themselves in a good position, and that's what makes that's what makes it happen. That's what makes it happen. Good teamwork.